All right. Happy December, everyone. Hope everyone is having a good holiday week. Uh, this is the video for the construction update of the American Battery Pilot Plant out in Fernley, Nevada uh, for December 23rd, 2021. Um, I want to try to try out a video recording this week to walk through the construction update over the past few weeks. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Apologies ahead of time. I am getting over a cold right now, so my voice may be a little rough for this one, uh, but we'll give it a go anyways. As always, quick disclaimer, I am not affiliated at all with American Battery or Miles Construction or any construction counterpart uh, for the pilot plant. All of this information is pure speculation off public information uh, from the internet or the Discord or the company themselves. So a lot of progress the past two weeks. Uh, here's a most recent photo from the 21st, a couple days ago at this point. Uh, this is showing the third and final slab of the production building uh, poured and in the process of curing. Um, there are two other pours that were accompanying this one for the production building. The first pour was poured on December 7th. On the left there we got the second pour on the right and the third pour right in the middle poured just two days ago um, these three pours complete the foundation and the slab on grade of the production building for the pilot plant phase one all right here we're looking at a overlay of the submitted floor plan with the previous permit submittal earlier this year now, this gives you a good idea where some things will be laid out when the building is complete so there's several main areas here to take a look at uh, the main one is the process area up in the top left down to most of the left side of the building um, there is a mezzanine floor that will be installed ab above the slab on grade foundation. So it will be a two level production uh, facility. Over here on the right we have the storage and the racking area where material will be stored and organized. There is a fairly large water treatment area down here at the bottom right with several large uh, water tanks, process water, RO water and some process equipment. This water treatment area inside the building will be in, in addition to the tank yard that will be located right outside the building as well. Um, the tank yard is expected to be laid out here in a few months. And then we have the pilot bay and the electrical room down here in the bottom left. The office building, which should be the next building to be uh, in the process of being constructed will be over here on the left hand side um, so it'll connect here there'll be a little corridor that runs vertically along the building and then the phase 2 production building should be over here um, to the south so the next thing I wanted to talk about this week was what these boxes, these lines through the foundation, and what these boxed out areas may be. And this is a total assumption at this point, but there was some speculation that some of these boxes are intended to be dunk tanks, or basically tanks where if there is a spill or fire of any sort, that that material can be um, kind of pushed into these tanks and discharged. However, with the addition of some of these foundation pieces and a few photos, uh, my current speculation is these will be used as containment trenches. Um, so I've seen these trenches used before in production buildings. You can run process lines such as uh, piping or plumbing or even electrical wire through these trenches to keep them out of the way above ground if you're not doing embedded conduit or anything like that. However, looking at these photos and knowing what the final purpose is for this building, uh, containment trenches makes a lot of sense. Anytime you have a hazardous material, such as a battery processing plant or storage facility, um, there is fire codes required that any leak of hazardous material or chemical or any mixture of the two needs to be able to be contained and kind of um, isolated to a collection point that it can be properly disposed of. 
So when we look at a photo of a few weeks ago, we can see this a little better. Um, this is prior to the third pour, obviously, but you can see these trenches uncovered here. And they're pretty deep. Um, usually I don't see them that deep, but you can see that all of the trenches go back to a single uh, pit of some sort. So um, these trenches down here go to this pit, this trench up here in the main process area goes to this pit, uh, the trenches up here go to these two pits, and um, the water treatment area has its own um, uh, trench which might go to a pit that's yet to be poured right here. Um, you can also see the continuation of this trench on the outside. Um, so this part of the trench still needs to be poured. There'll be some concrete work done here, um, probably when we get closer to the office building production building um, with that slab and foundation, we'll see this get poured. Um, but basically what would happen is if there was a spill, uh, let's say in the process area here, it'd be able to be collected in the trench, brought to the pit, and then properly disposed of. Um, so what this may actually look like, and this is just a photo I, I found on Google, is something like this. And this is kind of typical in production facilities where there are chemicals such as oil or anything that you don't want getting into your typical plant drain system where you may have some chemical process um, like on the left here and if that leaks you want to wait to collect it easily and get it back to a single point. Um, so this is typically covered with some type of grating that's usually rated to handle you know heavy traffic of vehicles you can walk on it um, but it, it serves as an easy way to collect any hazardous material. So that's my current thought on what that is if in case you were wondering as you look at these um, photo, photos of the foundation um, but like I said we'll keep an eye on it and if there's um, further developments maybe I'll change my guess on what that is but currently that's what I'm thinking now we are looking at an overview of the entire Fernley Nevada pilot plant site we've been focusing mainly on the production building however there are some additional buildings on site that will be following throughout their construction process as well while they have not started yet, they will be happening at the same time as the production building as um, the production building is further along, we'll see construction start on these other facilities. So the production building is located there, obviously, we're all familiar with that. The next one on the schedule is the office building, which will house all of the office stations, meeting rooms, break rooms, typical office facilities for the company itself. Connecting to the production building will be the phase two production building which will refine the black mass um, to a higher quality. And then finally we have the warehouse located in the back of the site that will handle all incoming and outgoing products that are not needed in the production building uh, for a process and the, kind of the stationing area for that material. And here is a rendering of the completed facility, and we can kind of match this up here. So a uh, production building will be this taller building here to this line that runs down the middle. So that's the phase one production building. Office building will be this front part here that kind of slants down. Over on the right, this is the phase two building. And then in the back, that's the warehouse. So you can kind of match that up and, and get a good idea of what this site's going to look like. Now just doing a review of the schedule and what's coming up. Um, overall on the Gantt chart, the red line is today's date, 1222. Uh, anything that's filled in is a completed task. Anything that's partially filled in is a partially completed task. So you can see we have completed the slab on grade. Um, looking at the overview here, we'll zoom in on the building schedule. Uh, slab on grade is complete right here. That's SOG. Uh, form pour panel. So form pour panels is for the tilt up walls. Um, the first step in the tilt up walls will be um, building the frame of the wall and then several materials are put within the form and then finally concrete is poured. Um, in the form of the wall, let, 
left to cure for several days and then it can be tilt up. I also added to the Gantt chart um, the office building uh, which we anticipate is next. Um, similar uh, schedule uh, for the office building however they do not use tilt up walls for the office building it looks like they're going to be using some type of CMU perimeter walls um, so the foundation should be roughly the same but uh, the walls will be of a different construction type all right so next up for the construction at the pilot plant uh, like I mentioned forming up the tilt-up wall panels will be next. Um, you'll see something similar to uh, what's shown in this GIF at the bottom left. Um, basically wood forms with some structural rebar or material within the forms. Any uh, cutouts that need to be made. Um, those will all be formed up and then they'll come in and pour concrete and uh, let that dry and then you'll see them braced with these braces here after they tilt it up and then uh, it's left there till it's able to be uh, attached properly. I still maintain the 20 days ahead of schedule uh, no change there uh, the biggest risk to schedule coming up will be the weather out in Fernley it is winter they do get snow it is cold and concrete work uh, doesn't do well in those conditions so you'll need several days of mild weather with no precipitation uh, not too cold to be able to pour uh, the tilt up walls so we should see form work for the walls being able to be done um, even if it's uh, not the best conditions out but uh, they'll need several days of good weather to be able to pour those tilt up walls uh, black mass we're looking at roughly 200 days to production and then production building completions roughly 133 days now I have received some questions on why there's such a delta between these two numbers um, while the production building can be completed uh, there's still equipment within the production building that will need to be put in place plumbed up wired up and commissioned so that can take some time um, that's why there is a a delta between those two milestones well thank you for watching this week's updates uh, thanks to myth for the photos I've been using here and um, hopefully you like this video and I'll do more of these in the future